chroma key, green screen, blue screen, they're all the same. All right, so the, this is the stuff I'm gonna be using today. I didn't really have a ton of selection for um, stuff with a green screen that we could key out. So I have this, but I'm going to just freeze frame this. Um, but it, it would work the same way if you had a freeze frame or not. And then what I'm gonna have below this is just a drone shot going up like this. So I'm just gonna put that underneath. And then I'll just cut the uh, end of this off. Now we'll come over to here. So what you have to do is make a alpha mat. And how we do that is we just right click in here and we just go alpha or add alpha output. And then all the alpha for nodes is, is this little arrow underneath. So we'll just drag that arrow to the blue and now we have an alpha channel linked to the output. Now we have to create that alpha channel and you can create that alpha channel a couple of different ways. You can use um, power windows and you can use qualifiers. And you can also move it around and, and shape it. But we're just, we're gonna use, we're gonna start with qualifier. So we're gonna just qualify this little area. And I'm going to click over here and then click this little guy so you get the black and white version and as you can see the uh, white area has a bunch of specks of black in it so we're just going to go to white clean and we're going to clean that up so we'll go like that and we'll notice that it's obviously the opposite of what we want so we'll come down here and we'll switch it and then once we switch it we notice that down here we have a green outline so we'll just move the ratio out and then we'll just blur it just a little so we have no more green. And then for this little guy, we're going to just use a power window because that's for a, uh, if you were going to track something and then we'll just make this smaller to just cover over where that little spot is. And now we pretty much have a keyed out window, which was in this case, it was the monitor screen. And yeah, that's pretty much as simple as it is. Um, now, if we want to, we can, uh, let's go back to the top layer. If we want to, to color this, right? If we want to color this, I would just add a node right and then I can just color this other shot so like let's say this was a person in front of a green screen and we could color that person but you want to make sure that you uh, pull your key before you start doing the grade to make it as easy as possible in the same way with the the layer that's underneath you can color that one too as you can see in the screen and add as many nodes as you want to you know do as much as you want and then you can add to that. So normally you'll just see clips like this, but then you can, if you if you need a better way to look at it, you can um, use timeline to see the what you know where the clip is. And yeah, that's it's pretty simple. You don't need any plugins to do something like this. There's not much to it really. You can use this for any color. You know, we could we could add an alpha to to the yellow notepad. We could, you know, do a blue screen or whatever it may be. You can use the combination of both of these tools to make an alpha channel. It's pretty simple uh, how that works. But uh, yeah, with that being said, my name's JR and thanks for watching.